this. Wheels officially coming off. But whoa, what sleazeballs these guys are. We told Joe Biden to keep 2,500 troops in the country. We demanded it. On the other hand, because we are bound by the ancient and sacred rules of confidentiality, we can't really tell you what we told the president because that would be wrong. <laughs> These people so thoroughly deserve each other. It is wonderful to see them rat one another out, which is exactly what they proceeded to do for the entirety of today's hearings. Watch General McKenzie explain that despite the fact that he personally oversaw the disaster in Afghanistan, actually, he had nothing to do with it. It was all demented grandpa pulling the strings from the White House. I won't share my personal recommendation to the president, but I will give you my honest opinion, and my honest opinion and view shaped my recommendation. I recommended that we maintain 2,500 troops in Afghanistan, and I also recommended earlier in the fall of 2020 that we maintain 4,500 at that time. Those are my personal views. I also have a view that the withdrawal of those forces would lead inevitably to the collapse of the Afghan military forces and eventually the Afghan government. What a dirtball that guy is. Did you just hear that? I can't share my recommendation quote, but here was my recommendation. <laughs> Take those medals off. You don't deserve them. Until today, the generals and their many allies in government have been undermining Biden indirectly. And far be it for us to defend Joe Biden, who deserves no defense, but it is a defense of the American system, which works well when civilians control the military. Up until today, they have been leaking Biden's phone calls, for example, the president of Afghanistan. That's illegal, but they did it anyway. They'd be giving nasty background quotes to their stenographers at NBC News about what a dope Biden is. All true, but still, they're not allowed to do that. But today was different. Today's performance took place in public. It was on the record, and it was under oath. And in that performance, they directly contradicted the commander-in-chief. As a reminder, here's what Joe Biden was saying just a few weeks ago on ABC. But your top military advisors warned against withdrawing on this timeline. They wanted you to keep about 2,500 troops. No, they didn't. It was split. That, that, that wasn't true. That wasn't true. <laughs> they didn't tell you that they wanted troops to stay? No, not, at, not in terms of whether we were going to get out in a time frame, all troops. They didn't argue against that. So no one, no one told your military advisors to not tell you, no, we should just keep 2,500 troops. It's been a stable situation for the last several years. We can do that. We can continue to do that. No, no one said that to me that I can recall. Oh, it's not a defense of any of them. They're all so awful and so undeserving of leading this great country. They should not be in charge of this country. It's too good a country for people like this. So here you have the generals claiming they told Biden the Afghan withdrawal would be a total disaster. Biden, just in the tape you saw, says they did not tell him that. The question is, who's lying? Someone's lying. Joe Biden doesn't know who's lying. He can't remember anything. He doesn't know what he had for lunch. Here's what we know for sure, though, and this is the point of today's hearings, and it's the point that matters going forward. No one in the Pentagon's leadership will ever be held accountable for this the latest in a very long string of colossal screw-ups that have dramatically reduced American power and prestige around the world and gotten a ton of people killed. No one. This is unbelievable. Let's say you worked at a nuclear power plant and one day you had too many beers on your lunch break and you fell asleep and the reactor melted down and thousands died. And then you got a massive raise. That's pretty much what's happening here. Mm. The House of Representatives just passed a $776 billion defense budget. How big is that? Well, it's fully $24 billion more than even the White House requested. In other words, Congress just threw a little extra for a job well done, a bonus for the generals who left $80 billion worth of American military equipment for the Taliban to use. Good work, guys. All right, Shalom. This is Harawan by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim, Lehawa by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem, Harakar Kodash, Ma'amav. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Salawam to you, Akim, and Akwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, yeah, man, what you saw there, they were talking about uh, Biden and his uh, and his cabinet, right? And uh, the military general, they all ratting each other out. And, and in the midst of that, you got Biden being proven to be a liar, stone cold liar, man. All right, and his approval rating is uh, he's polling at thirty one percent. And now, um, if a if a president.
begins to poll at 31 percent, they have to be removed from office. You're probably going to start hearing about that this coming few weeks, man. How the president uh, may be removed from office because he's polling at 31 percent for pulling them troops out of Afghanistan, you know, and then you got um, his staff telling, saying, hey, we told him not to do it. And he's saying that his staff never told him or advised him uh, not to pull them troops out of Afghanistan or would end up in turmoil over there. All right. So now <clears throat> you got all the OPEC nations ready to pull out of the OPEC deal because of it, which would crash the uh, uh, petrodollar, the petrodollar. All right. And, um, and, and his approval rating is, is going down. All right, so they could remove him out of office. They could have Kamala step in place, or they could have they could hand the uh um hand it back over to Trump. But what I think is going to happen is they're going to hand it over to FEMA or something, or the military, because when Trump was in office, people forget that he handed the whole government over to uh, FEMA. So there's really no president right now. All right, he handed the president. He handed that seat over to the FEMA in front of everybody, and never took it back. And then you got them two all wrestling over this presidential spot, saying they're both the president right now. You see the little the, the three card Monty that they're playing, man. It's a game. All right, so yeah, look for that, man, because uh, his approval rating is through the floor instead of through the roof. So they could they can remove him from office, but the reason for this lesson is there's a movie there's a movie out on um, Netflix called The Family, all right, The Family, and it's about the Illuminati, all right, a different level of it, and how they control the entertainment industry, all right, and they all they they all believe in something called the Wolf Protects the Wolf, and that's what they're doing. Nobody's being held accountable there, and that's their way of doing it. That's that corporate mindset. All right, the corporate mindset and the, the political way of thinking. The corporate mindset is there's so many entities involved that nobody can point the finger at one single person to blame, place, place the blame. All right, so that's that corporate way of thinking. All right, so now they're sitting there blaming each other in front of everybody, and but nobody's really being held accountable. You see that? So they they what? They're blessing the covetous. <clears throat> um, this is Psalms ten um and two. The wicked in his pride do a persecute the poor, and that's what he's doing, persecuting the poor. Biden, they're using him as a puppet. And he's persecuting the poor, just like Antiochus Epiphanes persecuted the Israelites, the poor. The, you know, the real poor. Um in 168 BC. All right. So now he's persecuting everybody. It says what? Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. See, they're going to be taken in their imaginations, in their plans, in their agenda. That's where they're going to fall at. All right. As they move forward in their agenda, see, his approval rating is sinking. People are waking up. They, you know, a lot of, they expecting that. They actually said they were expecting that. There's going to be resistance. They said it. And they said they have to be able to respond to that resistance. And that's what we're about to see. We're going to see the response to to everybody's protesting, to everybody saying no to the uh, mandates. All right. <clears throat> they're going to they're going to bring the hammer down. But in the midst of that, they setting it up so nobody can be blamed. And they all pointing the finger at everybody. All right. Um, it's like that game of Clue. Remember that or? It was something, uh, I forgot what it was called. I think it was Clue, it was Mystery or something like that. Where somebody murdered somebody in the house and they didn't know who did it. So everybody just denied it. In the, in the game, you gotta figure out who did it. That's what's going on right now. Everybody pointing the finger at each other. I didn't do it, he did it, he did it. He said he didn't tell me, but I did, he did tell me. So that's perjury right there, man. That's that's uh, it's crazy, man. All right. Um, so it says Psalms ten three for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, 
And that's what Biden's doing. They're boasting of their heart's desire. He's like, yo, I'm going to get this in everybody's arm. You're going to get it. <laughs> All right? And they're pushing for that new world order, their build back better plan agenda. But they're boasting of it. And, and and in the midst of that, what? They bless the covetous. Why? Because the covetous are those that are greedy, those that seek gain. Because those that seek gain or or, or wealth or safety, they're going to they're gonna help their agenda. And they're paying them off. They're paying people off. You know, they're paying off anybody that submits to their agenda. Giving them incentives. So they're blessing the covetous. All right, the ones that's lying for him, and now that now, now Satan is divided against Satan, so they they're having a blame game right, right in front of everybody, really to cause more confusion. For the for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blesseth the covetous, whom Yahweh abhorreth. Man, so they bless each other, even though they all um, responsible for a lot of death. Man. That's what they were saying. There was a lot of people that got killed um, even during Obama's regime. You know? <laughs> George Bush, all of them. But none of them getting blamed. So that's why we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, a righteous judge, the true judge. All right, so Psalms 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, you know. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. See, that's why they, they're in the spirit of that serpent in the garden. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth the ear, you know. So, hey, amen. The, the wicked are estranged from the from the womb. That's why Biden, the stone cold liar, he do that shit perfect. He, he, he lied with a straight face, didn't twitch. You seen his right eye trying to twitch? That shit ain't twitch though. He held that mother. He held that steady. Straight face, poker face, man. And he said, nah, they didn't tell me. They, they, they didn't know. <laughs> he said, they were like, he, he like, did they tell you a yes or no? He like, no. Did they tell you this or that? No. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, that's him, man. Creepy Joe. He is estranged from the womb, you know, naturally born wicked and a liar, a perfect politician, man, perfect uh, uh, puppet for their for the elite's agenda. All right, but the elect not going to listen to that liar, man. We don't be, we don't believe the hopeful elect don't believe his lies. All right, because the spirit, the Lord didn't put the spirit of derision on us. Instead, he put the spirit of truth, the spirit of light, all right, and understanding and wisdom. John 10 and 4. And when he put it forth his sheep, I'm so lucky. Uh, yeah, I'll start from here. And when he put it forth his sheep, his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. It's talking about the shepherd, the real shepherd, Yahweh Shah, right? Um, you know, and the and the prophets from Apostahar on uh, on down, man. That's speaking in the in the voice and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, not listening to this government, these politicians, the these, these uh, doctors that are turncoat and dishonoring their 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 pledge and the police and dishonoring their oaths. It says and um. And when he put it forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. See, Yahweh Shai goes before the sheep, you know. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. So Yahweh Shai already showed us the path 2,000 years ago, what to do. And we know his voice, you know. And when he put it forth his own, uh, and a stranger, see, people like Biden, is strange from the damn womb. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers, man. So if you have the hopeful elect, you're not going to fall for his lies and his deception or anybody they put up there in office. 
you know scripture said if it were possible they would shall deceive the very elect so it's not possible it's impossible man all right for them to deceive the elect all right so the lord called biden a what a blind leader that's what he is he was born in it born in the dust in confusion and darkness estranged from the womb born in, in lies man so people that follow after him you know they're following after that darkness man pushing his agenda what the hell wrong with these damn people right Matthew 15 um, and 14 I'll just read this part it says let them alone so the Lord said let them alone let these people do what they do man you got people all over social media posting that hey I got it I'm getting my second one. I'm getting my, right? You know? So, hey, let them alone. So, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. So, even uh, Biden is a blind leader. He don't even know his own cabinet is snitching on him. He's like, what, 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 what? They said, what? They said, they said, they said uh, that they told me? No. They didn't tell me, man. <laughs> he's just like, he's a damn demon, man. He said, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if they if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. All right? So Esau is going to fall into the ditch that he's made, that they're digging for the people, for the poor. And you could tell you could tell people like Biden want to be the cool guy, trying to ride around the Harley and all this shit, trying to be tough and, you know, ride around the old school cars like Jay Leno. You know, he don't like seeing people like LeBron James and Michael Jordan and all them existing, man. His old decrepit ass. You know, he don't like that. So his, his whole M.O. is who? To target Israel, to target Jakes. All right? We in the way for him. All right? He can't, they can't be cool while we're around. <laughs> Psalms 91, Psalms 9 and 5, 15. The heathen are sunk into the pit that they made, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken, man. So the the, the lies they try to spew out at everybody and deception and the trash that they're trying to set is falling back upon them. It's exposing them for the for the devil and Satan that they are. All right, and the liars that they are. It says, uh, Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed. See, Yahweh is going to be ju known by the righteous judgment that he's going to execute. And Esau is known by the judgment that they're executing. All right. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands, man. All right. So he's going to be snared and trapped in their own, in the, in their own work. All the lies that they spewed, setting up Afghanistan, pulling them people out of there. The troops, now it's all falling back on him. <laughs> Pushing these mandates, now it's building a civil war that's going to target him. All right. It says, you know, for the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget Yahweh. So not just Esau, but all these nations are going to be uh, put uh, um, under the children of Israel, you know, in hell. All right, um, Job 11. Um, let me see. I'll start from uh, Job 11 and 14. It's to the hopeful elect. If thou prepare thine heart and stretch out thine hands towards him, if iniquity be in thine hand, put it far away, and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles, right? For then... Shalt thou lift up thy face without spot? Yea, thou shalt be steadfast and shall not fear. All right, and that's to us. That's why we, we try to approach the Lord uh, with a pure heart, all right, in truth. Um, because thou shalt forget thy misery and remember it as waters that pass away. This in the kingdom. And thine age shall be clearer than the noonday, man. Thou shalt shine forth, thou shalt be as the morning. All right, so the Lord going to show that we've been renewed, refreshed. All right, so our age, meaning our kingdom, is going to be uh, uh, clearer than the morning, the noonday. 
and thou shalt be secure. See, in the kingdom, we're going to be secure. All right? Because there is hope. Yea, thou shalt dig about thee, and thou shalt take thy rest in safety, man. And that's what we're looking for, safety. We're not trusting Esau for safety, or Biden and them, you know, Esau. All right, they're all lying upon each other and putting on this act, this theater. But the Lord saying right there, man, he about to judge them. Also, thou shalt lie down, and none shall make thee afraid. Yea, many shall make suit unto thee. But the eyes of the wicked shall fail, man, and they shall not escape. And their hope shall be as the giving up the, of the ghost. So all they're hoping for, all their lies that they're trying to commit and spew out there on everybody and sweep it under the rug like and, and uh, hold nobody accountable. And that's what everything's supposed to be based on, accountability. Dealing with politicians and government and the police and the military, they're supposed to be have, have some, some form of accountability. But they're setting it up to where the wolf is protecting the wolf, their inside family, where they take care of each other. All right, you can do no wrong, you know what I mean? And they bless the covetous instead of uh, uh, per, uh, judging them. So the Lord's going to do it. All right, so their their hope is going to be what? As they're giving up of the ghosts. Don't catch them off guard, just like death. All right, this is Biden right here, man. Whoever's going to be in office, but he's playing that part right now. He's really, really pushing that agenda for the Rothschilds and those elites. All right, for Esau, Isaiah fourteen and four, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. So we're taking up a proverb against him. Who whoever sits in that seat, man, the king of Babylon, of America, the president. All right, because the, the modern day word for president used to be what Kaiser. And it, before that it was what Caesar. Before that, uh, uh, emperor or um. Um, you know, during the Persian Empire or whatever, you can go back further and further. All right, that's what they call them, Xerxes, or they, you know, it's like a word for king or Epiphanes and shit like that. All right, so now uh, the king of Babylon would be the president today. All right, it says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say how have the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased man all right so we're taking up this proverb against them and this 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 city is falling to pieces man america this golden uh uh, uh gathering of people is 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 falling to pieces and it's a beautiful thing man because it needs to it's a wicked a wicked kingdom all right and um they bless the covetous they're holding nobody accountable there is no justice in this place. All right. But the Lord, so the Lord is going to bring the justice. It says, um, Yahweh have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. America is that scepter of those elites. That's why I call America the hammer. All right. So they rule the world through using um, America. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. So this is about to happen to these heathens. The Lord gonna have them persecuted, and none's gonna, nobody's gonna stop it. All right. So we need the Lord to judge these heathens, man, because there's nobody judging them, and that's why they're doing it. They're running around like little rascals, man, little devil children. All right, and um, children of the wicked, man. Little deceivers Just lying in front of everybody And nobody can do anything about it That's how you know we need Yahweh Bashem Abishai man A righteous king that, that judges righteously man And they're going to be held accountable For every word they've spoken Jeremiah 3 23 and 5 Behold the days come saith Yahweh That I will raise unto David A righteous branch Alright Out of the bloodline of David Tribe of Judah and a king shall reign, all right? Not he, Esau, the king of Babylon, but the king is going to reign. That's Yahweh Shai. And shall prosper. Ooh, and he's going to prosper in his kingdom, man, period. 
Esau is, is failing right in front of everybody. <laughs> their blessing is over, man. So they're going to fail on their agenda. All right. Their, their, their hope and their, their plans uh, shall be as a giving up of the ghost. But Yahweh Shai, he's going to prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And that's what we're looking for, for judgment to be made and justice, justice in the earth, man, righteous uh, judgment. Because Esau is not judging uh, righteously, man. They respect the person. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is no respect the persons and judgment. Esau, they bless the covetous. Anybody that's greedy of gain like them that want to do their bidding and their agenda and their devil worshipers and shit like that. You know? People got demons on them, man. I was just in the store. I was talking to somebody and I said, hey, man, uh, um, I'm talking about basketball or something like that, man. You know, try to play some ball and get out here with these young bucks, man. You can't keep up with them. And he threw up his hand to shoot a shot. He threw up the devil horns. But it's like, People got demons on them, man. You know, that's what this is the energy out here. All right, so, you know, that's off topic. But, hey, man, uh, people like Biden, he's a stone-cold liar. It's being proven. Nobody's being held accountable. And we need Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to judge these heathens and to bring this place down, man, deliver us. All right? Uh, it says what? In, in his days, Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, our, our righteousness, man. All right. I'm going to end with this Revelation 22 um, 12. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. I give every man according as his work shall be, man. So even Esau going to get according as their work is, you know, nothing but lies and deception and wickedness. All right. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the righteous, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city and the gates if you read it in Revelation it speaks about uh, New Jerusalem and those gates being what? 12 gates that's only for the elect of Israel nobody else not Esau no other nation alright blessed are those that have what? um that they may what enter to have access to the tree of life to to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to the truth and wisdom and may enter into through the gates into the city man so, you know that, that get to inherit the kingdom with Yahweh Shai. for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie and that's what all of them doing. They all loving and making lies. So the Lord is going to destroy them. All right. So, um, all right. So he started to remind me of um, Biden starting to look like, uh, what's his name? Um, King King Darius the Third that lost the kingdom to Alexander. <laughs> you know? He's starting to look that way, man. Real incompetent. That's what King Darius the Third was known as, the king that lost the kingdom to uh, Alexander. And then you had uh, uh, King Philip the Third, I think it was, which was the brother of, of of Alexander. He was known as being incompetent as well. All right, so hey, man. We we'll see what happens. We we'll see where this goes. But they they're playing the blame game right now. There's a big split. Matter of fact, you know, get the scripture. Yeah, man, with this one. All right, uh, Mark 3 and 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So that the kingdom of Edom is divided against itself right now. This shall not stand upon the earth. It's going to fall. 
And then you have uh, over there in the EU, it's all falling apart. The, uh, the Brexit, you know, and you have um, uh, right hand in America, Babylon, it's falling apart in the Congress. They are ratting each other out, snitching on each other. It's confusing, you know. Um, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So not only a kingdom, but a house as well. You know, the house of Edom or this, this uh, the house of the thief, which would be America or Babylon. You know, um, so if the house, you know, they call the Congress, the house committee. They all divided against themselves, man. And it shall not stand, man. And if Satan rise up against himself, so once they start rising up against themselves now, not just being divided, but they start rising rising up against each other. That's what they're doing right now. And be divided and be divided. He cannot stand but hath an end. See, they're at their, they're at their end. All right, of Esau's kingdom upon this earth. All right, so with that, I'm going to say, uh, you know, shalom.